Welcome everybody to part 9 of my Pokemon Scarlet playthrough. As I mentioned at the end of the last part, I was going to start off here, where I can face that that ground-type Titan Pokemon, the Great Tusk. And my Pokemon are much stronger now. In fact, I have a new addition to my party. I got me a Belusa. Obviously, I caught that off camera, and I replaced my Floatzel with it. Belusa... Well, I may have established it before, but it's a water psychic type, and well, I I was ho I'm hoping that maybe it'll serve me serve me a little well than Floatzel. And I'm gonna start off with Muddy Fish against this big beast that tried to destroy me in the last part, and I had to back out from that fight. Hopefully now I'll stand more of a chance against it. Okay, there's that phone call from Pro Professor Seda again. Oh wait. I I almost picked the wrong move. Ugh. Still didn't do as much damage as I hoped. Is Great Tusk supposed to be a fighting type also? Well, in case of this, I'll switch to Thunderbeak and use Aerial Ace on it. Okay, I, I assume it's a ground fighting type. Oh god. Of course I always forget Rapid Spin Race's speed. And one speed race was all it needed. Well, Brick Break definitely won't be very effective against my Psy Psychana. Yeah, it's a combination of Psychic and Piranha. You know, since it kind of looks like a Piranha. Okay, let's go with the Terrestrializing right now. Give it all you got, Saikana. Yeah, nice try. If I didn't terrestrialize Saikana, it would have been done for right there. Knock off is a dark move, as I recall. Okay, I definitely got this now. Even though this will only be the first battle against it. Good thing Arvin will be joining me in the second one, like always. And I can take this time to heal up the, my Pokémon. I'm guessing I'll have Saikana be in the lead this time. Or... No way, actually... I'll revive Moneyfish and... Probably Terrestrialize it right off the bat after... As the second battle begins. All right, Grace Husk, you're going down for real now. And I might also consider taking on the normal type gym in this part too. There's the cape where the next Herba Mystica is. Of course, like all the others, they'll be try to eat the herb. Yes, and I'm going to need your help taking this one out, because it's kind of overpowered. We can handle this, right Arvin? And he's also got a... a Scovillain with him. I just bet it will.
Oh my god, it got really lucky right there. Really sorry about that, Arvin. You gotta be kidding me, it was still really weak. And it's speed bros, I know. What, does Arvin not have another Pokemon on him? Oh wow, Muddy Fishes Rose. I mean, Muddy, Muddy Fishes Speed Rose too. Of course, Great Tusk is Great Tusk is still faster. I'm just glad that it's doing a better job at draining its health in the second bite. And it looks like Arvin really only has one Pokémon for some reason. And now I know it has Stomping Tantrum. I'll switch to Thunderbeak after... Oh, no, wait. Yeah, I better heal her up first. I'm still gonna win this. I know I am. Thunderbeak, you're up. See what I mean? It's it's so overpowered. I just know it's gonna use knockoff again. And possibly instantly take out Saikana. Break break. Really? You call that a smart move? You had the perfect opportunity to completely obliterate Saikana here. It did it again! Oh man. All of a sudden it's being an idiot. And it's still not out, of course. I have no max revives, don't I? Fine, whatever. Maybe if I'm lucky enough, it'll be stupid and use Break Break again. Oh, now it... now it did the smart move. My god, this, this thing is almost out and... Okay, let's go with Iron Will. It definitely has no move that's super effective against Fighting-type Pokémon. And yes, it, it recently learned this Raging Bull move. It's gotta be over now. Oh, thank you. Finally done with this one. I can get my 4th Titan Badge now. Seriously, Arbin, did it not occur to you to bring more than one Pokémon to this battle? Yeah, no thanks to you. Don't worry, the herb is there. No doubt Mambo Stiff and Karaiden will love the taste of that.
sour. Oh, well then. Well, at least boosting overall health is a good thing. You don't need to keep apologizing for the wait. My character is pretty patient. So let's see which new ability Koraiden gains here. It's either climbing walls or gliding while in midair. Here you go, pal. You need the sandwich more than me. And now it's Mabo Stiff's turn. Let's see how much better it can get here. So now, Koraiden can glide. Well then. Well, yeah, that's true, but it will eventually. Well, possibly. That can't be right. I mean, how could it ever be too scared to battle anything? I mean, it did save me from the Houndoom and all those Hound Hours back in the cave. We'll get that last herb. But of course, uh, it's bound to be the toughest Titan battle. I think it's a, a Dragon-type Pokémon. And now for Professor Seda to call again. Yeah, I knew you were calling. So as it says, you hit B while you're in midair to glide, and... And you just hit B again to stop. I guess now I... I may take on the next gym. Where was that again? All the way here... In... Medali Gym... Medali City. I, I already showed that before. Oh, and also, I haven't fully decided if I really do want Belooza to be my official water Pokémon for the rest of this playthrough. I've been trying to choose between either that or perhaps Cloyster, which is a water ice type. And, and chances are, I may need a water ice type more than a water psychic type. But again, I'll, I'll see about that. I'm just going to battle this boy first, and then I'll be on my way to the next city.
Well, I'm gonna start back at West Province Area 2 as I make my way to Medelli. Let's get riding, Koraiden. This path right here is definitely the right one to take. And there's a rather dark area up ahead. Colin Nate Hollow. Okay then. Oh, of course, I, I still haven't battled any trainers here, so... Better get some more experience for my Pokémon right now. <laughs> Moving on. Oh yeah, there are some other new Pokémon around here, like that Metatite. I haven't caught that yet, or... I think I also found some... Noibats? or however you pronounce their name. Okay, yeah, I did already catch a Sableye too. And I even caught up a Gabite as well, but... I still haven't even encountered a Gibble, but it's not like I need to. Are there no other trainers around here? Oh wait, there's one. I'll show you who's so strong and so rare. Psycho Cut. Is that any... Oh, no way, actually, it still hasn't even had any psychic moves until now. Well, Psycho Cut is... It's a decent move, so I, I will teach it that. And I suppose I could use my Belusa for the Fighting-type Team Star Base. Hey, speaking of which, where is that on the map? It's... No, that's the Fairy-type base. And that location is where the last Titan Pokémon is, and I was right that it's a Dragon-type. That's the Poison-type base. Of course, I could probably use uh, Belusa for that, too. And there's the Fighting base. I might go for either of those bases, and maybe the next part. I want to focus more on the next gym. Hey, there are bigger ops around here. What kind of illusions do you have, woman? So as you saw in that battle, even though it was sped up, her first Driflin was Azora in disguise. It, it also has the ability to transform into other Pokémon, just like Ditto. And what's that? A Fungus. Well, uh, I haven't caught that yet, but I'm not interested in it right now. Hey look, there's <laughs> my, uh, a Mabo Stiff of my own that I can catch, but again, there's no need to. And apparently, there are Shroomishes here as well. And Persians. What's next?
and Pikachu's too. What level is that one? Yeah, I know Pikachu's are rare, but I, I caught one already. Well, actually, I could probably just knock it out to get some materials from it. Oh, don't tell me it already disappeared. And yeah, there are also Tropiuses as well. And Pseudowoodos. Oh boy. Next trainer. Just because your Pokemon are cute doesn't mean they're super powerful. There's the city up ahead. A stupid wild Pokemon keep running in front of me, getting in my way. Okay. Here I am in Medali. And the gym is right here. Of course this means it's gym test time. Oh look, she's coming again. Well, this time you got here before I took on the gym leader. Yeah, let's do it. I don't mind at all. I could use a quick warm-up before I even take on the gym test. Oh, wait. Oh, uh... Okay, never mind. Maybe later. I know, I have to pass the gym test for every gym I go to. Ordering a special menu item. So you gotta go around getting clues from trainers in order to figure out what you're supposed to order at a restaurant. How the regular season their dishes. So now you gotta go to the restaurant to start the test. To officially start it. The restaurant is right here. And that's also where you'll find the gym leader, Larry, himself. Is that a woman I'm talking to? Okay, you talk to him or her to start the test. Oh, oh god, I, I wasn't. Okay, uh, you weren't you weren't really supposed to talk to her. That only. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna have to purposely get them all wrong. I I forgot that. Right. I know, I know it wasn't, I forgot I wasn't supposed to talk to you yet. But this guy right here is Larry. Well, is that? A nice squeeze of lemon gives any dish a refreshing kick. That right there is the first clue, and you get it from Larry himself. You gotta choose lemon, but now you gotta go around, around the city to get the rest of the clues. Oh, and the special menu item is the same every time. But I don't think I can remember exactly what all the ingredients are. Well, I do remember the size of it. But again, I'll just show off where you're supposed to find all the clues. After I get this... full restore. Okay, now... There, 
the one of the trainers should be around here somewhere. Where could they be? You're supposed to battle the trainer, so they'll give you a hint on where to find the next clue. It's not him. Oh, here he is. When you see somebody saying something about the gym test, that indicates that it's the trainer you can battle. Of course I'm gonna battle you for the next clue. I got number one from the gym leader. Your Dunsparce will stand no chance against my Tauros. And no, I'm not gonna keep Iron Will for the rest of the playthrough. Wait, did I already mention this earlier? Well, in case I didn't, uh, again, I'm not gonna keep it here. I'm just gonna use it to uh, use it against Larry, since he's all about normal Pokemon. Just one more double kick, and it's out. Well, only one kick, really. I'll be taking that clue now. Yes, you do. I beat you. You gotta follow the rules. The clue listened really closely to a blue bird Pokemon. Now hold on, I think I may have saw a blue bird Pokemon around here. And there it is, it's this Guacabilly. All you have to do is just sit there and wait for it to say something suspicious. Yeah, it does look cute, I guess. No think, no think. Medium! Yep, that indicates that medium is the size of the dish you're supposed to order. So, that was the second clue. Time to find clue number three. And... Okay, this girl right here is the next trainer. Well, I got two clues so far, and you're gonna give me number three. After I take out your Ursa Ring. I admit it looks tough, but... My Tauros is much tougher. Double kick that ferocious grizzly bear. Sweet scent? Really? You're gonna lower my Tauros' evasiveness, which doesn't do you any good? She practically just gave me this battle. Okay, I get it. The Ursa Ring fainted. Okay, girl. What's the clue? A dark spot surrounded by stairs. Would that be... this vicinity right here? What would happen if I examined this gate? Fire Blast! That's clue number three. There should be only one clue left. So where is the last trainer? I assume that all of the trainers wear red pants, like they're, uh, students at Naranja. No, I already battled him. Oh wait, I believe this boy is it. Or is that another girl? Okay, uh, now I know you're a girl. So you got gumshoes. Again, it'll stand no chance against Iron Will. And unfortunately, it still hasn't learned any other fighting moves besides Double Kick.
Greedent. I think that's the evolved form of Squobit. It most certainly is. And I, I think uh, maybe Arvin will have his own Greedent later on, when you battle him again. Yeah, you heard what I said. Oh, no. Oh, well, uh, I'm really relieved Iron Will withstood that. Good riddance, Greedent. And now, little girl, you owe me the final clue. Triple level up. I love that. Muddyfish wants to learn Spore. That causes the target to fall asleep. I guess so. I'll, I'll give it a try. So, uh, are you willing to give me the last clue? The odd one out at one of the ice cream stands. Okay, she's referring to these ice cream stands. But wait, there's a TM over here. Ah, uh, reflect. I don't really use that. Oh, you're from the Cancer region? Good to know. Well, look at these creamy treats. Chocolate banana crip, crepe or crepe? What? I don't know how to pronounce that, but they do look good. Well, I'm not, I'm not really into ice cream, but wait, grilled rice balls? That's not an ice cream treat. But it is the final clue to the uh, special menu item. Okay, back to the restaurant I go, and I'm gonna take Larry down. Did I already, or did I mention yet that you can instantly heal your Pokémon by hitting the minus button? Well, you may have saw that in one of the tutorials of the game back in part one or two. This time, I'm ready for real. I know exactly what the special menu item is. I'll have the grilled rice balls. Medium is fine. Fire Blast Dial, of course. With just a hint of lemon. That indicates that you ordered the right thing. Oh my god, is there an earthquake? What happened to all those customers sitting there? They just disappeared. Was that weird or what? But nevertheless, the test is done. I think you still gotta go back to the gym building. Or wait. Or maybe not. I think you can, uh. Do you talk to Larry again? Okay, I think you do have to go back to the building. Sorry, didn't mean to hit the Y button. The test is done, sir. Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah, I, I know where to find Larry. Here I come, Larry. I'm gonna beat all of your normal Pokémon to a pulp. Not a bloody pulp, you understand. This game is rated E. I hope you're finished eating now, because it's battle time, Larry. 
or... Oh, come on. Do I talk to the waitress or the uh, chef? Or do I talk to her again? Yes. Yes, I do. Well, he looks like quite the gloomy type. Yep, uh, I did pretty well finding all those clues. Indeed, let's. Hope you're not in a hurry or anything. Wonder what he carries in that suitcase of his. I know you have nothing but normal types, and they're all going down. Iron Will, show that Komala what you're made of. I'm afraid I have no choice but to go too hard on you. I'm a very serious trainer, understand? Fine, make it sleepy. Your Comella is still screwed. Pokemon number one of Larry's goes down. But now here's the part where Iron Will goes to sleep. No, wait. W what did the name say? Duh, done, Sparse. I may have mentioned it before, but... Dunsparce has an evolved form now, and it looks pretty similar to its other form, but it's still an evolved form, you know? Wakey, wakey, Iron Will. We're in the middle of a battle here. Hyper Drill? Isn't that a ground-type move? Okay, so I, I just wanted to make sure that Iron Will does remain a fighting type when terrestrialized. And I'm obviously going to save that for Larry's last Pokemon. Oh, God. Who doesn't hate being paralyzed? Thank you for not being paralyzed on the spot. Well, who's next? That would be... Okay, level up, but... Wait, Hyper Voice. That's a normal move. Yeah, let's go with that. No need for round anymore. Star Raptor. Wait, is that his last Pokemon? Well, I'm pretty sure it is. I think I should switch Iron Will for now, and at least until I heal it. I'll go with Punter Beak. And I wonder who your boss is. A bird against bird. Well, of course Star Raptor is his last Pokemon, and even though Star Raptor is already a normal Pokemon, he's still going to terrestrialize it. That way, it'll be nothing but a normal type. I'll still use Thunderbeak against it for now, just in case. Well, Star Raptor might knock it out, but. Oh boy, the... the chef's really rooting for you. They must all be fans of Larry. 
soon they'll be fans of both of us. And I know exactly how you can put on more of a show. Well, it's the wrestling time for him, but not for me just yet. And that's what the normal terrestrializing crystal looks like. A big diamond with a few other smaller diamonds. I believe the side also causes more damage when the user is either poisoned or paralyzed, etc. I'm definitely going to be using Iron Will against it now. Sorry about that, Thunderbeat. I didn't, I didn't want you to get knocked out like that. But still, I want this to be Iron Will's battle. And he's seeing red right now for what you did to Thunderbeat. It's the wrestling time for me now. And, nice, Iron Will still faster. Eat double kick, you bloody pigeon. The battle is now over. It's an absolute victory for Connor. I pulled off quite an impressive victory, haven't I, Larry? Oh, don't be such a... What's the word? Don't be so glum, you know. We both wowed the crowd pretty well. <clears throat> really? You just ate. How can you be hungry again already? But hey, I now have my fifth badge. I figured you'd say something like that. I believe you also owe me a new TM. Well, how did I not guess that I would get Facade? Okay, uh, see you later then. I was hoping that this next gym battle wouldn't be so difficult. Oh, look who's back. How's it going, Gita? Yep, I'm getting pretty close to reaching that rank. I'll be getting into the Pokémon League before you know it. Oh, of course, I knew she'd be back. She's not really a champion already, isn't she? La Primera. I wonder if she's the... Oh, well... I figured as much. So that must mean that she'll be the final opponent you take on before finishing the main story of the game. Now now, Nomona, no need to be so jealous. Well, as long as you're finally ready for that. Oh, you wanna spectate? Be my guest. Well, how can it not sound like fun? Yep, and I'll be ready for them. Yes, I, I'm already aware of that. And I uh, obviously I will only have three badges left to get. Well, thank you, ma'am. 
My Pokemon needed that rest after my gym battle. You know you're gonna lose again, right, Nimona? I've been destroying you a lot lately. So now, Lycan Rock. And it's a good thing I still have Iron Will in the lead. So Lycan Rock is a rock type, which of course means Double Kick is the key. Mess with the bull, and you get the horns. I think I'll finish it off with Assurance. Quick Attack, is that really all you got? I expected more. Gumi, that's a Dragon-type Pokémon, and I have no Ice or Fairy moves on me. But I suppose, for the heck of it, I'll send out Saikana. Hello, Gumi. Prepare to get destroyed by my Belooza. Let's see Psycho Cut in action. Well, that... I never expected it to be that strong. What's next? Pomo. It's about to say hello to Muddy Fish. It's worst nightmare. Are you enjoying the show, La Primera? I hope she was also having trouble trying to get her Pomo to evolve, like I've been. We're still screwed, Pomo. Like you would ever stand a chance against a Toad Scroll. I can only guess which move is next, or which Pokemon is next. And no, I'm not gonna teach rest to Iron Will. Meow Scrada. Now that's the final form of her Grass Cat. And she's about to see Blazigator's final form. That is Meow Scrada. I think it's a Grass Dark type now. Oh, her eyes will be lighting up pretty brightly. Lovely flowers, Meow Scrada. Now it's my turn. I take it your Pokémon's going first? Flower Trick. That's the move that Meowth Scrata gains after it evolves into that. Now, Blaze the Gator, sing! As always, her Grass Cat can't take the heat. That's it for you, Nimona. Again. And no doubt Gita really enjoyed the whole thing. You'll never become a true champion as long as you keep losing to me. You realize that. Oh yes, Toxmobile's finally evolving. Say hello to... Toxmobile, the Reva Room. 
and that's what a Rev of Room really looks like. Not exactly, you know, the uh, Team Star's Rev of Rooms, which are really just their Star Mobiles. And it wants to learn Shift Gear. What does that move do? Rotates its gears, boosting its attack, and... Well, I guess I'll teach it that. What a battle that was, ha huh, La Primera. I have pretty much endless potential. Yes, I know. I can I can finish off the rest of the gyms. Ah, Terra Blast. And you can see what it you see what it does right there. I'll be looking forward to that. Surely you have faith in me too, right? Okay, so this should be where part 9 ends. So, I I guess maybe in the next part, I may go after the next Team Star base. Which one is closer? Well, I guess maybe I could go for the Poison base next, or the Fighting base. We'll, we'll see about that. Thank you for watching, people. I'll see you later in Part 10, where I might... Well, again, I'll, I'll decide which base to go to. Bye, everyone.